I'm Susan Koenig and this is Somatics for You. Today I'm going to do a very short standing routine. I get a lot of requests from clients and students for something really short that they can do when they stand up from the desk to take a, a little bit of a break or they're on their way to the restroom or back and they just want a, like a minute's worth of movements to do. So here's a little routine I've come up with. I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and do the routine, explain a little bit, and then I'll probably do it again and explain it in more detail. So it's going to start with arch and curl, a version of arch and curl in the standing position. I'm going to inhale and I'm going to let my weight come more towards the balls of my feet. I'm going to exhale, I'm going to curl my spine a little bit. My joints are bending and loose. Inhale and arch or extend my back. Exhale, gently round my spine, flex my spine. Let my knees and my elbows and my shoulders, my head and neck flex a little bit along with my spine. Inhale and arch. Exhale and curl. I like to end by going to the arch and then just coming into neutral. Sometimes I shake a little bit, feel my feet, center my feet. That's the first move. The second move involves lateral flexion hip hiking. I'm going to bring my weight into my right leg and foot, bend my left knee, let my right hip come up towards my right armpit, my left hip go down. I'm gonna slowly come back to center, equalize the weight on my feet. Now I'm going to shift the weight into my left leg and foot, bend my right hip, uh, bend my right knee, my left hip comes up, my right hip goes down. I come back to center, equalize my weight. I'll do one more set. Weight goes into my right leg and foot, bend my left knee, right hip comes up, my whole spine is flexible, it's slightly laterally flexing, even my ear is coming a little bit down towards my hip. I slowly come back to center, equalize my weight, move my weight into the left leg and foot, bend my right knee, laterally flex to the left, left hip is up, right hip is down, slowly come back to center. I relax, I rest, I'm upright, I equalize the weight between my legs and my feet, and I'm ready for the third and last movement, which is rotation of the spine. And I just start by gently rotating my whole body. I'm really thinking about my spine and rotating my spine. You can even notice my feet. I'm going to have the camera come in and then go back out so that you can see that I'm allowing my feet to roll. If you can do this, that puts the whole rotational movement through the whole body. If that's too much, just think uh, flexible feet and do the best you can. And then I might broaden my step and the camera can pan out a little bit more perhaps and now I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger and this time I think you'll be able to see my feet I'm actually going to sort of rotate on my big toe area and let my heel lift and I'm getting a little bit bigger movement again I'm thinking about the central axis of my spine I'm letting my arms flow a little bit more and then I'm just going to come back to standing, but there's a part two. And part two is a contralateral rotation where the upper and lower body are going in opposite directions. That first rotation was all to the same side. So in this one, sometimes what I like to do is just grab my elbows and my lower and upper body are going in opposite directions. So I like to put my attention into my pelvis and my rib cage. My pelvis 
and rib cage are going in opposite directions. And again, I'm letting my feet roll with the rotation in the pelvis. My head and neck are following my upper torso and rib cage. And after I do that a little bit, I just come back up to standing. I feel my feet. I feel my uprightness. And it's a great little break to do. And once you practice a little bit, you'll do it in one or two minutes. And that's going to end what the actual um, movement is, the little three-part movement in standing. I just want to say a, a couple of words about where you put your attention. Our movements are full body. We want the whole body to be able to be free enough to follow the movement. So whatever movement you're doing, you're allowing the spine to gently follow the whole movement. And that's going to create a lot more flexibility and fluidity and grace in the joints. Let your arms and shoulders be relaxed. And in most cases, they're just following the movement. And uh, let, your, let the movement come through your feet. I want to emphasize that again. It's not our feet aren't glued to the floor, but we're also trying to get flexibility through all the joints in the feet. We want our head and neck to be flexible. So if we're doing a, 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 a if we're doing a, a lateral movement, we want the head and neck to find what supports the movement, not be rigid, but let it flow with the movement. So I hope these few tips help you as you go along, and I, I hope you try out this movement. Thank you very much.